And our body takes pretty good care of our genetic material and it makes sure that it's copied correctly and that it gets passed on correctly. And that starts with meiosis, making sure that when we do that real risky thing of separating chromosomes and just passing on half, that that's done correctly. But it doesn't happen every single time, most of the time. But sometimes it goes wrong. Uh, and that is called a non-disjunction. And it's a weird term, uh, but let's get into that one. So start off with a drawing like this. Make one for yourself. And as we walk through normal meiosis, fill this one in. I'll walk you through an error in meiosis too. And then I want you to do this one for yourself. Now you could do this for a normal human and have 46 chromosomes, but we're gonna cut it down and make it simple. Although you should be able to look at any number and just look at the cells that we're modeling with six chromosomes. Now, as we go through normal meiosis, we divide that up, we divide up homologous chromosomes, and so we just have three in each. And that seems weird, but the sister chromatids have identical information, so we really just have three chromosomes worth of information, and then we split up the sister chromatids in meiosis two and end up with three in each, which makes sense because this is half of the genetic information as that was. So what if you got to this point and all of these separated normally, microtubules pulled them all to one side, just like normal, and over on the blue side, we would have microtubules, I'm just not showing them, and the short autosomes separated, and the medium ones did. But what if the long ones, those microtubules dragged both to one side? And then we did telophase two, and also cytokinesis. Well, then what we have is a normal gamete, another normal gamete, one that's missing a chromosome, another one that ha is abnormal and has an extra chromosome. And so these would result in normal fertilization, but these would probably end in a spontaneous abortion or miscarriage because uh, that original zygote would realize something is wrong genetically and would not continue. All right, so in meiosis two, when we did that error, we started with six. We did the first round of meiosis one normally, so we ended up with three and three. On that red side, we ended up with three and three, but one of the sisters stuck together leaving four in this cell and two in another one. And so in this case, there was an error here. And I want you to figure out if there was an error here and just one pair of homologous chromosomes stuck together. And we started with six. How would that look in the end? 